This video is going to show you how to do a thin lens approximation, ray tracing, for a uh, converging or positive lens. First, let's, look, let's talk about the two types of lenses. A positive lens is a converging lens. A negative lens is a negative lens. They're called positive and negative because when we start doing the math, we'll put a positive number in for a converging lens for the focal length. And for a diverging lens, we'll put a negative number in for the focal length. To tell the two apart, at this stage of the game, it's pretty simple. The positive lenses are always going to be thicker on the middle and thinner on the edges. The negative lenses are thinner in the middle and fatter on the edges. So converging or positive or thick in the middle, diverging or negative or thinner in the middle. All right, remember, this is an approximation. So a couple things. Our lenses are all going to be symmetrical. They're not going to be some of these shapes. And they're going to be thin. That's why it's called a thin lens approximation. In order to complete our approximation, we need this line of refraction. And so our line of refraction is going to be the line where the light bends. It actually bends at the surface of the lens, but with our thin lens approximation, it's going to bend right at my line of, of refraction. So that line is the red dotted lines that I've drawn here, and it's going to be right in the middle of our lens. So the third lens from the left is more like what we're going to be encountering. And the method we're using, it works for symmetrical thin lenses. It's just an approximation. So here's a lens. It's a positive lens, not a negative lens. And with our positive lens, it's thick in the middle. And my light source for this is going to be on the right. So here's my light source, and there's the light. The first side of the lens that the light hits is called the primary side. The second side, where it leaves, is the secondary. But right now, we're focusing on the primary side. The shape of this lens is created by an arc of a circle. It's a spherical lens approximation as well. So this arc created by the part of the circle, that's the radius of the circle that creates that arc on the lens. And this is the focus associated with that arc. So the first side the light hits is the primary side. The radius that makes this length would be the primary radius. And because for our circular lens, the focus is half the radius, that's the primary focus. Primary side, primary radius, primary focus. And the focus is half the radius. And the radius is just from the center of our circle. If I move the light source to the other side of the lens, like I'm going to do for the rest of this video, I can see that everything just switches sides. So now the primary side is on the right, but it's still, according to our definition, the first side the light hits. So this is the focus associated with the radius for the first side the light hits. So here's the radius, and it's tracing out the arc of that side of the lens, or our spherical lens. Now the other side of the lens, it has a radius that created it. And remember, everything's symmetrical, so our radii will be the same, and our foci will be the same as well. But this is called the secondary focus because it's the second side that the light hits. And it's when the light's leaving the lens. To figure out where an object's going to be, we're going to draw a couple rays. So here's my object I'm going to represent with an arrow. Now through the center of the lens, the center is going to be the center, and that's not going to move anywhere. So that's great. That means if I drew any type of rays from the bottom of my arrow object, it's always going to be on the bottom of the other side for the image. OK, so object, I'm trying to find the image. I need to draw three rays. The first ray I'm going to draw is parallel to the principal axis. And you see the principal axis I've drawn right through the middle of the lens. And it's refracted through the primary focus at the middle. So I've got my primary focus. Remember, that's going to be on the right-hand side of this lens, because my object becomes the light source on the left. The first side of the lens is on the left. And the radius that made that first side is on the right. So that's the primary focus. So I'm going to draw the ray parallel to the principal axis. And at the dotted line that I've drawn, not the lens, but at the dotted line, I'm going to draw a line that's going to bend. That's going to be my refracted ray. So here's the incident ray and the refracted ray. I'm also going to draw a reflection of the refracted ray, which actually is called a virtual refracted ray. So I need to draw that because sometimes that's going to determine where the object is. So always draw that just as a matter of habit. So that's one ray. I need two rays to figure out what an object is, and I'm going to show you how to draw all three. The second ray is the easiest one to draw. The second ray goes right through the vertex of the lens. In other words, right through the dead center middle of it. So here it is going in, and the refracted, the incident ray and the refracted ray are all the same. Nice straight line, both directions. goes on infinite distance, and it's easy to draw. So that's two rays. If I combine those two rays, I can already figure out where the tip of the image is going to be. But let's keep going and get to our third ray. Our third ray, 
the rule for that one is going to go through the secondary focus to the middle of the lens and refracted parallel. So it's backwards from the first ray. So I go through the secondary focus first until I hit the lens, that, that vertical dotted line, and then I go parallel. Now, if the line that I'm drawing goes beyond the width of my lens, I'll just extend my dotted line because it's just an approximation. So here's the line. It happens to hit through the lens, and there's the refraction. And again, I'm drawing the virtual part of it. Even these virtual parts don't have much to do with what I'm drawing right here. Sometimes they will, so make sure you always draw them. So the instant ray is on the left until it hits the lens and refracts at the dotted line, and that's the refracted ray. It takes two to figure out where the tip of the object is, but I've got all three here. So there's one, here's through the vertex, and then secondary focus, and then parallel. And they all meet at one spot, and that one spot is the location of the tip of the object's image.